Hello YouTube, I'm Isaac. I'm John. And today we got something special. We picked up a new sponsor. Their name is Cars Amino. Cars Amino is a mobile automotive community that you can, uh, it's an app you can download on your Android or iOS device. And basically it's a place where you can share your passion for cars. You can post about your dream car or your project car that you're working on. It's basically a place specific for automotive enthusiasts. So, you know, you won't be distracted by your cousin's baby photos that you may not care about. No, none of that stuff. Car stuff. Exactly. Cart stuff. Yeah, card stuff too, because Cars and Cameras is now on Cars Amino. Uh, and we will actually p be posting exclusive content on there, such as uh, some polls and other stuff that we'll get into later. Uh, but Cars Amino actually wanted to uh, fund a project for us that we've always wanted to do, but it was never really feasible because it was too expensive. Oh, let's not forget Go Power Sports. They are also funding this project. Yep, they're getting in, they're getting in on this build as well, and uh, there are some parts in the mail as we speak. So I guess more information on uh, what we're actually doing. We haven't said what we're actually doing. No, we've been saving that for a surprise. Oh yeah. What do we got? A V-Twin. Yep, we have the Predator 670cc V-Twin. Man, can't wait to see this thing going. So this V-Twin is 670 cc's. If you do the math, that is uh, over three times larger than uh, the 212. That's true. <laughs> what we're doing, we're actually putting a very large engine on a, a very sketchy looking go-kart. Um, I picked it up the other day from a buddy of mine for $25. Yep. Uh, let's uh, let's get started. We're gonna first unbox this engine, kind of look at it, and we're actually gonna read the instructions and break it in properly. So there are download links to Cars Amino in the description of this video. Go check it out, download it, and uh, reach out to us. Let us know what you think of the build, and uh, give us some suggestions on what you want to see us do with it. We are going to uh, flip a coin to see who gets to open this butte. So heads I, I win. No, I want heads. You want heads? I want heads. Okay. Bam. Heads. <laughs> this blade is so bad. <laughs> Man, it's a shame we don't have our unboxing knife. Pioneers. Really? <laughs> I can't even open the freaking box. Uh, all right. Here we go. This is the best part, eh? Yes, sir. You gotta do the sides first. And then you gotta do the middle. I think they got that. Yeah. Oh. Oh look, instructions. Uh, you know what I can do with direct no, instructions? No, you, I... Oh, there she is. Oh, that's nice. Fancy. Fancy. Wow. Heavy duty box. Yeah, I'm gonna get these instructions so I can through. Thing is humongous. Show the people a go kart, man. Oh well, let's see what we got here. There we go, go kart. Very old two seater go kart. Um, tires actually hold air. I aired them up a few weeks ago, and every single one of them still have air in it. Um, they're almost like brand new. Yes, pay no attention to the cracks. Thing is awesome. So pretty. Yep. What is what is this? That is the air filter. Oh, well, we don't need that. Just kidding, we need air filters. Those are, those are good, we need those. The question is, how do we get it out of the box? It's easy. Are you gonna manhandle that engine? Man. Just so you guys know, this engine weighs over 100 pounds, dry place to pick it up. You're gonna ruin your back, buddy. Man, it's back to Man, that thing is something. This engine is insane. It is Harbor Freight's largest Predator engine. It has 22 horsepower, 31 foot-pounds of torque, bone stock. It has an oil filter, an oil dipstick, an oil cooler, and it's electric start. What you doing there, man? I am unbolting the engine. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, this thing is electric start. So, no more uh, pull cords for us. Yay! Do you want me to lift it? 
Nah, I'll be all right. Keep As he throws friends. out his back. Yeah, because I'm an old man. Woo! Okay, he almost like set it down on the bolt. Wait, we're gonna put it on the go kart. Right now. Right now. Okay. Whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna need that piece of wood. That. Uh, Why? Uh, a nice flat. Oh yeah, that makes sense. All right, so the engine's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, shifted a little bit. Wow. Like so. Yeah. What? Massive. Yeah, it is a large, dude, you want me to pick it up? Large and in charge. I think we're gonna have to take this off. And mount it somewhere else. Mount. Yeah. That works for me, man. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> man, we're gonna do some wheel stands with that thing. It actually fits better than I thought. Uh, yeah, it actually does. And Especially we actually, if we take that we off. Take that off and put it all over there. We can actually get this thing in a really good spot. The easier thing to do would be to have the engine over a little bit. Mm-hmm. That we, way we don't have to move the... Sprocket. Sprocket and stuff. You have a good point, so... Um, but do we want it centered or do we want it over? I think whatever is going to be easiest to uh, fit a torque converter on it. Easiest would probably be because to be honest, like that is a uh, <laughs> not a lot, not a lot of room, room for a torque converter. Which way would the torque converter be going? Go I'm gonna guess right? that way. You know, same as uh, mine. That's what it's gonna do. <laughs> it's gonna do some wheel stands. Go. Oh yeah. How fast do you think this thing is gonna go from zero to thirty? Let's say. Uh, insanely fast. I'm um, zero to 30. Yeah. That's not fair. How about zero to top speed? Well, top speed is probably going to be around 45, 50. Okay. Well, I think it's going to be 45, 50 with that big old sprocket we're going to have on it. Zero to 40 <laughs> in two seconds. You think that fast? Yes. You know, that's like, that's like Corvette fast. Dude, I will put this thing up against your dad's Corvette. Are you serious? Yes. Some of you guys are inevitably going to ask, or not even ask, you're just going to tell us we're stupid for not putting a, you know, a Kawasaki 600 on it or something like that. Right? Other people have done it. Yeah, exactly. Other people have done it. We are some of the first people uh, to put a go-kart engine of this size, or the Predator 670, on a go-kart. I mean... Everyone knows that the 212 is uh, an excellent go-kart engine. No one has really done anything with the 670 on a go-kart. I mean, you know, a few people here and there, but, sure. you know, no, like, real documentation. Not that we are scientific by any means, but, you know, we try to be kind of thorough. What are you thinking with exhaust? Are you, are you thinking just leaving the muffler on it at first just to see, or...? I think we should leave the muffler on it at first just to see, even though it is pointing straight into our left we'll shoulders. So we're not going to do anything. We're not going to hack up this frame tonight. We're not going to mount it tonight. Uh, but maybe we can start it, put some oil in it, put some gas in it, and start it, please. I want to hear it, Ike. Okay. So we're also going to clean up this frame a little bit. We're going to kind of bring it back to life like we did the $50 go-kart, as you can see. Uh, it's got some questionable uh, modifications to it. Uh, no offense to Ike's buddy who he bought it from. But, you know, if I mean, it would be okay if we were putting a 212 on it, but we're putting a much, much more powerful engine on it, so we're going to try to make it a little bit nicer. So, yeah, we're going to be painting it. And that's one of the things I wanted to ask you guys on Cars Amino. I made a poll, and I want you guys to vote on uh, different colors. If you don't think any of the colors I have listed in the poll would be good for this go-kart, you uh, may make a suggestion of what color you want us to paint it. Let us know what you think. I made a poll on Cars Amino. Go vote. Let us know. So the Wally World failed us, but Ike's work didn't. So we got a little bit of fuel line here. And we're tired, uh, and it's really late. It's like 12, 12, 15. Let me tell you exactly probably. what time it is. 12, 19. 12, 19 a.m. So uh, we're going to get this thing fired up for you guys, and because we want to hear it. And then we're going to go to bed. Go get a battery. 
and I'll, uh, oh man, we need to get some Earl. Oh, yeah, we do need some Earl. Yeah. Uh, did you lock the side door of the hearse? Reach into that box and get dual. Cool. cool. All right, now I'm going to put this uh, <clears throat> fuel line on. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Me and John got good stuff. We got the ethanol free gas. Uh, any lawn equipment, I would highly recommend getting the ethanol free gas if it's going to do any sitting or whatever. What lies are you telling those people? I'm not telling any lies. I was talking about the ethanol free gas. Oh, okay. Uh, the bottom of this oil is slimy. You'll be fine. It was leaking. Yeah, yeah. Apparently this engine holds two quarts of oil, so uh, that's the second quart Ike is putting in there. I'm just going to put our fuel line into our thing of fuel. This is ethanol-free fuel, so uh, yeah, uh, better than the stuff with ethanol in it, even though uh, it says 10% ethanol blend is okay. Uh, ethanol free is healthier for this engine. For any engine. For any engine. Yeah. So we're going to check the oil with the dipstick. It has a dipstick. It's that it's nice. Dipstick. It's so nice. It has <laughs> an, oil filter. an oil filter on it. So I am excited to hear this thing run. Personally, I think it's going to sound like a Harley. Uh, it'd be wishful thinking. But yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so either. It's going to sound good, though, I think. It's going to sound like a beast. Yeah. Even with this muffler on it, I think. Yeah. We're good with oil. However, if you're doing this or something similar, make sure you uh, get proper ventilation before starting your engine. Yeah, we're uh, not going to stay in here after it's run. No. What you doing there, man? I'm hooking up. Jumper cables because they don't have proper battery lines. Yeah, it'll be fine. So the positive to the positive. Gotta make sure the key's off. There we got negative. Are Hold on ready? to my hand. No, I'm not ready. All right, fire it up, buddy. Well, it's gonna take a second because you're gonna see the fuel yeah. go right into there when I start to turn the key. Hold on, I gotta make sure that... It's not wide open. Yeah. I believe that's wide open. We're going to go for idle. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Really? Battery. Way. Battery doesn't have enough oomph to it. Or it's these uh, jumper cables. Oh, uh, let's just mooch off the battery in the Cadillac. So the other battery didn't work. I don't know if it was jumper cables or just a weak battery. So we hooked it up to this uh, Cadillac battery. We're going to see if it uh, cranks. Dang it. Weak jumper cables? Could be weak jumper cables. Ike, you're scaring me, buddy. Sorry. You're good. Hold on, don't plug it in yet. Let me know when I can. Is it on 50? It's on 50. All right, ready? ready? Yeah. Let's try this again.
It <laughs> kind of real deep. Um, oh yeah, just wait till we put exhaust on it. quiet we're gonna fix that so this is all we're gonna do in part one and uh, the second part we are going to uh, be hacking up the frame and getting it ready to paint I wouldn't say hacking up the frame I would say preparing the frame for the engine okay yeah I guess preparing well. it's gonna fit better than we originally thought it would I don't think we have to lengthen it We'll find out when we uh, get the parts in from Go Power Sports. Well, we had to switch cameras because the battery on the other one died and the memory card was full. So we have the GoPro dangling upside down from the lens of the DSLR. It'll be fine. Yeah, so if you notice a lot of movement, we apologize. Well, I don't know about zero to 30 in two seconds. That is very fast. Zero to 30 in two seconds would be keeping up with that Corvette. It's the only one way to find out. How cool would that be? Drag strip Corvette versus go-kart? Oh. So if you own a drag strip and would willing be to let, and would be willing to let us race a go-kart with a 670cc Predator engine on it versus a 2006 Chevrolet Corvette, let us know. So yeah, check out Cars Amino, everybody. Uh, there's going to be a link to the uh, Android and iOS download in the description down below. Uh, remember, it's an automotive community on your phone, so no other distractions, only cars all the time, and go-karts because Cars and Cameras is on it. We're going to be posting stuff on there. Uh, you know, sign up. It's completely free. Check it out. Make a post. Follow Cars and Cameras. Maybe we'll follow you back if you have some cool stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. In the next video, we are going to be uh, preparing the frame to accept this beast of an engine. She's a beast. Oh, yeah. 22 horsepower, 31 foot-pounds of torque, bone stock. Once we get this thing on and running reliably, uh, you know, maybe we'll uh, mess around with, uh, you know, doing a couple of modifications here or there. I don't know. Maybe a governor removal. So check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews and Cars Amino at just Cars and Cameras for uh, more exclusive content. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, everybody. We haven't forgotten about the Rat Guard Wagon, the $50 go-kart, or anything else, or the build-off. Build-off is happening in December. So all of the regular stuff is still happening. We're just one more build for you.